Hello and welcome to Man on Football Manager with me, Dan. I am creating a new series and it's called Save a Career. It's a little bit similar to other content creators where they act as agents for a player and see if they can beat the AI in terms of success. Well, I will simply just pick a player that I personally think could do better at a different club and see if their career is better with my direction than the AI's. I had a couple of names in my head. You have the likes of Phil Jones, who currently needs a new club. You have Harry Maguire, who's not getting any love from people lately. Ross Barkley, in my opinion, is in limbo in terms of form. But today's career is Deli Alley. And before I transition to my chosen club for Deli Alley, I would like you to choose a player in the comments below who you think I should try and save. Feel free to pick the club too if you wish, and I'd be interested in knowing your thoughts. So, let's get straight to it, shall we? I will catch you in a second. So here we are at the start of the season. It's June 27th, 2022, and here's Deli Alley's profile. There was a number of clubs I could have chose for Deli Alley, and I could have gone the easy route and made it go to Wrexham, but I didn't think that was quite realistic. I don't know Deli, personally, but looking at his form recently, I don't think he suits English football anymore. And he's not doing too well in the Turkish league either. And he looks like a party boy. I don't know if it's just me. So I feel like he'd be more suited for America. He'd want to crack America. So what a better place to go than DC United and join Wayne Rooney. That is my observation anyway. You can have your own opinion, but this is where I think he might succeed in the MLS. I don't know what the AI is going to do. I'm hoping this will be the way forward for him. So he's here at DC United. He's earning £70,000 per week. A little bit of a pay cut because I think he was earning a, just a little bit over 100000 at Everton. But he's their star player at DC United. He's still only 26 years old. That's insane. So maybe he's a bit too soon at the MLS. But you know, he's still young. He might find an opportunity to go back. So here's DC United, here, and here's Deli Alli at the very top with Christian Benteke. They both earn 70000 per week, and Deli's contract expires in three years' time in 2025. Let's see if he can do well at DC United, shall we? I'm going to skip now to the end of the season, and let's see how his first season goes. I will catch you in a second. So guys, I changed my mind. It's not going to be the first season, it's going to be five seasons ahead. The reason I chose this is because I want this to the rest of his career, and if I'm going to do this by season by season, it's going to take forever. So I've gone, skipped ahead five years, see how he's getting on, and yeah, let's check him out, shall we? Okay, so five years later, he is not at DC United, he's moved over to Nashville. Just like my previous video with Suarez, they, they seem to go to Nashville with my saves. It's really weird. And if you haven't seen that video, well, it's probably going to show up in the top left corner. But yeah, so he's 31 years old. Let's check out his career stats in the last five years. Okay, so he moved twice. <laughs> in his first season at DC United, he played 12 games, no goals or assists. I made a terrible choice, it seems. And it only has 6.74 rating. His second season for DC United, he played 35 games, only two goals, one assist, and two play of the match awards with a 6.83 rating, which is a little bit better. <laughs> His last season with DC United was 27 games, nine goals, three assists, and a 6.809 rating. He just found his stride with DC United. Then he was traded over to Philadelphia, and I feel like that was the worst trade he could have made because he only played four games that season one goal and a 6.65 rating. Then his second season with Philadelphia, he played 32 games, five goals, nine assists, and one play of the match award with a 7.08. And then they decided to trade him over to Nashville. <laughs> Just as they're getting good, they trade them. So he goes to Nashville, he plays 30 games, five goals, seven assists, and one play of the match award with a 6.83. And then this most recent season, Still in America and still at Nashville, 21 games, 4 goals, 1 assist, 1 play of the match award and a 6.87. So his best season so far has been for Philadelphia with a 7.08 rating. He didn't get as many goals as he did for DC United but he got 9 assists. 
Now the question is, has he won anything in America? Let's check. Oh wow. So in 2023, he won the Eastern Conference in the MLS for DC United. That's pretty good. He's won a, he's won a trophy of some sort. And then recently, he's just been in best 11s for both Philadelphia and Nashville in, in 2025 and 2026. In landmarks, he broke Philadelphia's record for assists with 10. I don't know if that's a real record, but fair play to him. So he's won one trophy, which is far more than I thought he would. I don't know how much longer he's going to play. He's 31 now, probably another five years. I don't know, maybe a little bit longer. So now I'm going to skip five more years into the future and let's see how well he does. Does he stay in the MLS? We're going to find out right now, back in a second. I had a feeling this might happen. Deli Alley is now retired and he's an assistant manager at the age of 36. But that doesn't stop me from finding out where he ended up at the last five years of his career. So let's have a look. Okay, so he did stay in the MLS for another three seasons. He traded to Chicago in 2029, played 26 games, one goal, two assists, two player of the match awards and a 6.91. Second season, he played 17 games, one goal, two assists, one player of the match award this time and a 6.9. So very consistent at Chicago. They cleared him, won him at Chicago in 2031. So he went to Blackpool on a free. And then at Blackpool, in League One at this point, 23 games, one goal, seven assists, two player of the match awards, and a 6.83. His second season with Blackpool, he played one more game, 24 games, two goals, five assists, and a 6.81. Then he, he ended his career at Exeter and for 63 grand in League Two at this point, and only played one season with them where he played 17 games, 9 goals, 1 assist and 0 play of the match awards with 6.78 and then he retired in 2032 which is where I am at right now. So, I don't think I did Deli Alley any good to be honest. I feel that's quite shocking. He didn't play as great as I thought. He had glimpses of good seasons with Nashville and one good season with DC United. He had one good season with Blackpool, but still, the average ratings were terrible. His best average rating was with Philadelphia. He had a lot of assists in that season too. But let's check his milestones. So yeah, he only won one trophy with me in the whole 10 years of me being, not his agent, but his advocate. In the notables, he was just seasonal best 11s. And signed on a free, retired from playing at Exeter, which we know. Couple of MLS teams of the week. Yeah, not great, but he's won one trophy. So for the AI to beat me, they need to beat at least one trophy. I feel like that's how we, that's how I'm going to measure this, by trophies. How many trophies do the AI get against me? I'm not going to ramble on anymore. So it's over to the AI. Let's see how they do. Catch in a second. So we are over to the AI side now. We're in June 2032. I didn't skip every five years. I skipped the whole 10 years with Deli Ali. And on this save, he's ahead of youth development and he's still unemployed. But you don't care about that. Let's see how AI did in with his career. Did they save him or did I do a better job? Let's have a look. So after his loan in Turkey, he went back to Everton in 2023. He played 12 games. <laughs> And literally zeros across the board with a 6.81. Then 2024 to 25, he only played four games for Everton. Only three games for Everton in 2025. It's, it's so bad that there's no point putting an average rating in it. Then in 2026, he finally moved on a free to Hanover. Played 18 games, only three goals, no assists, no play of the match awards and a 6.93. Holy cow, I did a much better job than the AI. Looking at this, he just wasted his career. Granted, he went to the Bundesliga and played a, in a stronger league than the MLS, but at least he got some goals and assists and a better average rating. So let's carry this on. He moved to Mainz in for 950,000, played 30 games, zero goals, one assist, no player match was in a 6.83. The second season with Mainz, he played 30 games again, but got, scored three this time. Two assists, two player of the match was, and his 6.78. Probably his best season, even though he's got a terrible average rating. 
Oh, no, tell a lie, it's one better here. So his last season with Mainz, he played 26 games, four goals, four assists, zero player the match was, but a 6.84. And then he went on a free to Bochum, 24 games, two goals, six assists, one player the match award, and a 6.37. That is dreadful. And then that's when he decided to end his career. I, interestingly, I just noticed Mainz were in Bundesliga 2 in 2029. So instead of winning a trophy, he got relegated to Bundesliga 2. Let's check out his milestones. I'm assuming there's not a lot here. Tell a lie, he won a trophy, but not the trophy we were expecting. The under-21s Premier Division Cup for Everton's under-21s. Then he was released, signed. He won seasonal best 11 for Mainz twice, three times, but then was relegated with Mainz. And then also relegated with Bochum. So he's had two relegations and one under 21s, even though he's like 26 years old. No, 28 years old there. So I feel like I was more successful than AI. I don't want to like brag or get big headed, but I think I did a better job. I personally don't think I saved his career. I think he could have done even better, but I don't know what kind of team I should have put him at. So there we have it guys, I hope you liked this video. If you would like me to put a player in a certain team, please let me know in the comments below and please like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will catch you at the next one. Ta-ra for now.